I always like, ding. <laughs> I always read it after I write and I'm like, two likes in the same sentence. Ding, ding. <laughs> wow, this is so stupid. I don't know. It's like three dings. Four dings. <laughs> How many times do they say like in this? That's four likes in three sentences, Monica. Come on. Metaverse. What the heck is the metaverse? Log in. Logging in. Hello! Okay, pictures. Oh, here we go. Original Sayori, Nasuki, Yuri, and Monica. Oh, the chibis. The residential area of the protagonist in Sayori's house. Uh, okay. Metaverse. Is this a part of Facebook? Is that what you're telling me? Uh, what do I want? Let me see the chibis. Uh, I don't want the chibis. Uh, yes, that is wallpaper. Achievement unlocked. Error. What the heck does error mean? Okay. Hey, it's here. Music. Doki Doki Lead. What? Go away, Siri. Yeah. Well, that's a new song. That's the new designs. I do like this. I listen to the uh, Plus soundtrack pretty often, so... 20 minutes later. Here it is. I got the first side story. Got the first one between Monica and Siori, and that's what I'm going to start off with. The side stories are stories of friendship that are unrelated to the events of the main game. Uh-huh. To get all six side stories, try to find poems for different characters viewing their special scenes in DDLC. Well, perfect. Begin this side story. Yes. Alrighty, good. Do you mind? Thank you. Alrighty, the new adventure begins in trying to look at all these side story stuff. It's been a while since I've looked at these. That's a new scene. I see machines like this here in Korea. Even though I know it's not really a Japan or Korea, it's not take place in any real place. So, hey, Monica. New Monica, because I have not seen this version before. So, let's begin. Now, should I still read her with my Arnold voice? <laughs> like I did in my playthrough. I've tried it for a little while. Okay, everyone. No, nah, I'm not going to do it. Okay, everyone. Literature Club is starting. Let's all have a seat and take attendance, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I know it was a bad impression, Monica, but still. I miss debate club. Who knew it would be so difficult to start a new club? I feel worse that every day passes without anyone coming in. Rainy's starting to lose confidence. Monica's the only member of the literature club. In the days that passed, all her efforts to recruit new members have been fruitless. Am I going about this wrong? Monica glances up one of her flyers. Headline is, do you like literature? Maybe nobody's in the literature enough to pick it up over their other club interests. I can't just rely on people liking literature. I need to sell them on a vision. A vision. What kind of vision? Monica rests her head on her desk, deep in thought. But before she realized it, the recent nights of staying up too late to start to catch up to her. So quiet, the noise of the air conditioner is soothing. And she goes to sleep. Um, hello? Suddenly a voice causes Monica to snap awake. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I never do this. Heh, <laughs> is this the napping club? No, this is... Monica pauses, suddenly embarrassed to admit that this is in fact the literature club. This is the literature club. Yay, I thought I got it wrong for a sec. I'm super sorry, it was like so unprofessional of me to do that. You're still a teenager, Monica, calm down. Don't apologize, they do that all the time. Oh, do they always have teeth? I don't remember Sayori having teeth. Nasuki had a fang, but I don't remember them having teeth. <laughs> um, did I miss the club meeting? Where is everyone? No, they had teeth. Or at least in that... I remember her having this expression, but still. Yeah, Monica did. Okay, so they've had teeth. I'm just remembering wrong. Okay. Well, about that. This is everybody. Really? Just you? But we're getting, we're getting more members, and we're working really hard on it. 
You mean I'm getting more members because it's only just you right now, Monica. You and your hedgehog face. But I mean that in a cute way for anyone listening. Hold on a sec. If it's just you, that means I get to be vice president. <laughs> Wait, vice president? Um, what are your qualifications? Well, I'm better at napping than you. Maybe I should be president. Now you're just making fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, what was your name? Sayori. Okay, Sayori. I've been trying really, really hard in this club. I know you caught me at a weird time, but it's really disheartening not to be taken seriously, you know? I care so much about this. I just want to find other people who do too. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I do care, I promise. I have a hard time being serious, that's all. I didn't mean for it to hurt you. And I was joking about the vice president thing too. I would make a terrible vice president. I mean, I'm sure that... Monica tries to say something reassuring, but it's difficult when she doesn't know much about Sayori. I'm sorry this isn't like a real club yet. Would you still be in joining after I found a few more members at least? Well, no. I want to join now. Really? Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Besides, I can tell how hard you've been working. You're doing something amazing and you should be proud of it, you know? So let me help you turn something stressful into something fun. If nothing else, I'm good at that, so... <laughs> Honestly, how could I possibly say no to that? That's really sweet of you, Sayori. Sweet Sayori and... Never mind. <laughs> I want to say something. Oh, I'm Monica, by the way. Yes, just Monica. Just Monica. Monica. That's such a cool name. Oh, now you're just trying to cheer me up. But you're smiling. Well, I didn't say it didn't work. Monica glances at the flyer on her desk and realizes her name is already written on it. So, what do we do first? Well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? We can go home and try to come up with some new ideas to recruit new members. I can do that? Cool. And I think I need to put some more thought into my vision for the club. You know, like, a mission. A mission is to make everyone happy. <sighs> yeah, something like that. I need to think about it. Hey, do you like hugs? I guess so. Siri suddenly pulls Monica into a friendly hug and then let's go. Some people can just really use a hug sometimes. Besides, Siri whispers loudly, Hug energy is what keeps me at my best. Hug energy. <laughs> Monica laughs. Although Siri is very different from her, Monica feel, feels her spirits lifted. Maybe it's just because she finally found another club member. But, well, I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. Well, I'm not. I am looking forward to tomorrow then. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to think really hard tonight about how to get more people. Yeah, me too. Ah, this is a nice little thing, being able to see the new people and everything. That, that's, that's nice. It's good. A day passes and the time comes for the literature club, Monica and Siori, to reconvene. As president, Monica ensures that she's the first to arrive to the club room. Can I just say, I love the music. I sometimes just listen to the back, to the uh, music of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, this game, at night. Because I like listening to ASMR and, uh, you know, soft sound music and rain and stuff and the, the soundtrack to this particular game is kind of soothing to me i will say that now that i own it i'm gonna be you know listening to it more often it's been 10 minutes already that she's been waiting for siori too long maybe siori changed her mind about joining no that can't be she was so excited yesterday but i'm getting kind of worried suddenly siori comes bounding through the door in her hand she's holding a sheet of paper sorry i'm late i'm here ding <laughs> I, I I did watch one of the playthroughs I watched of this was Game Grumps, and anytime they apologized, I went ding because <laughs> they do. It's either two things: they either apologize a lot or they say like, probably because they're teenagers a lot. It's okay. Welcome back. And sorry, spins over to Monica and spills the sheet on Monica's desk. Oh, what's this? Hey, new poem. Take my hand. Take my hand. Take me forward. Take me to your dreamland. Caution me to watch my steps so I can't look back at my footprints. Climb the stairs ahead of me while I look up to you. The more I look forward, the more I look up. The more I lend to you. If you can trust me to follow your pace, I'll trust you to set it. If you can trust me to lend you a smile, I'll trust you to return it. Take my hand, lend me forward, take me to your dreamland. If you can trust me to lend you a smile, I'll trust you to return it. For some reason, this phrase just sticks out to me. If you, if you can trust me to lend you a smile. Hmm. Hey, this is really good. You wrote this, Sayori? Of course. Wait. Wait, no, that's the wrong side of the paper! <laughs> huh? <laughs> I wasn't ready to show that yet. I'm so embarrassed. 
Monica flips over the paper on the other side is a list of ideas for creating new club members. Oh, so this is what you meant to show me. But I'm curious now, curious now, do you write poetry often? I do, but I'm sure I'm not anywhere near as good as you are. And I missed a ding, ding, because of the sorry. <laughs> really? I'm actually terrible at writing poetry. I've never written anything I'm happy with. You and your cute face. Like, I always, like, ding. <laughs> I always read it after I write and I'm like, two likes in the same sentence. Ding, ding. Wow, this is so stupid. I don't know. It's like three dings. Four dings. <laughs> How many times do they say like in this? That's four likes in three sentences, Monica. Come on. You like literature. You should be able to say more things than just like. It's like the dramatic version of me doesn't like the person I want myself to be or something like that. Aw, you should have more confidence in yourself. You're the literature club president. <laughs> I guess you're not wrong there. I need to ding. <laughs> like set up a good example or whatever. Hmm, you know, I can envision the club doing something like that. Doing what? You know, like. That what is that? Seven? Eight? Oh my god. I'm gonna put a like counter up in the corner and count how many times I say like and sorry throughout these entire things. Cause that's that's getting oh boy. <laughs> oh yeah, I would love that. It's such a good way to learn about other people, you know? It's like ding! We have so many emotions that we can't express to other people usually. Okay, I'm not going to do the ding thing anymore, but I am going to put it in the corner every time there's a like. But you know, it's in a poem, right? Yeah, I think that's helping me be a more cohesive vision for the club, so I'm glad you showed me, well, even though it was by accident. Me too. I feel embarrassed at first, but now it feels kind of good that someone else read it. I'll try to show you more of them in the future. I love that. Oh geez, I'm getting distracted. Do you want to go over this recruitment brainstorm together? I brainstormed so hard. It was like a brain hurricane. My brain is a natural disaster. Come on, Sarah. You know it's not. <laughs> Sorry, that's terrible. It is terrible when you know our situation. Make cupcakes. I was hungry. But it's a good idea, isn't it? Um, let me think about this. I mean, when would we have a chance to give people cupcakes? You know, like when they come into the club. What if we said we have free cupcakes on the flyers? I'm like kind of worried that it would bring in the wrong kinds of people, you know? Wrong kinds? People would just come for the cupcakes and leave. Oh, nobody would do that. That would be mean. But you know, I want to find people who are like... Okay, no like. I want to find people who are really into literature. Even if they don't know it yet. Let's see, the next thing on the list. Hunt for people reading books. I don't think I get it. Like going around the school and finding people who are reading books, you know? Like in the morning or during lunch. And we tell them to check out the literature club. Well, the problem with that is like... When... Most people reading books just be doing it for an assignment or something? How do we know if they're just reading it for fun? Hmm. Well, we could ask them. Trust me, if I'm reading a book at lunch, either I'm reading it for schoolwork or I was reading it because, yeah, I didn't necessarily... Or, yeah, for fun. So, yeah, you could ask me and I'll tell you all about what I was reading. I read uh, either books of school or I was reading the Bible or I was reading, uh, I don't know, whatever book I was reading. I didn't read Dune in high school. I read... Uh, I'm trying to think of what book I was like to read. Oh, read in high school. Uh, I'll say high school age, and then there were none. That was a book I read a lot. I have it actually at home. But then we'd be bothering people who are trying to do schoolwork. I didn't think about that part. I'm sorry. It's okay, Siri. You are forgiven. Hey, don't apologize. I'm not going to do the sorry counter like Game Grumps. I'm going to do the like counter. You come up with a lot of things that I can. Well, your next idea is to hand out flyers rather than just put them up on the wall. I definitely like to start doing that. I'm useful. <laughs> I never said you weren't. I just need to think, what would we tell people when hanging them out? I don't want to just be like, join the literature club. Let's figure out how we can better engage people. What if you told them about the club activities and stuff? What club activities? Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be my do idea to come up with club activities, right? A vision for the club. Okay, sorry. Pretend you're a normal person for a second. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> like a random passerby or against the flyer. How would you react to the idea of a literature club? Hmm, probably like. Literature is stupid. I'm joining the anime club. What the heck? <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking of a friend of mine. Oh, are you being meta, Siri? Okay, what if we like do group readings and discuss it together? I would probably nap through like that. That's you, Sayori. Yeah, but that doesn't really sound fun to most people anyway. We need to catch their interest, you know? Ugh, this sucks. Why is this so hard? Don't be sad, Monica. Monica, don't be sad. I just said that, Sayori. You're reading my mind. 
But I'll take it back to the original ending of the last game. What do you like about... Like? About liter That's an inappropriate like, though. About literature, Siori? Me? Well, kind of what I said about the poem earlier. I think it gives you the chance to express yourself. Like? Express yourself in ways you can't normally do when you're just doing your normal day and talking to your friends. I mean, we have so many thoughts and feelings that we just don't get to share, you know? It's like... Intimate. Yeah. How do we get that across to people? We could be like... Express your true self. Be intimate with us. Uh, that... No. Sorry. <laughs> that is the wrong expression to be using. Okay, that's kind of... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Please be kidding. Oh my gosh. What? What is it? I forgot all my things in my classroom. I must have gotten too excited to rush here. Silly me. Rush, but weren't... Ah, never mind. Did you want to get your stuff then? I'll forget if I don't do it now. <laughs> well, I'll wait for you then. Okay, only take a second. Sorry, dash to the room, leaving Monica momentarily alone. Technically, Monica's always alone. That's mean. Why did I even go there? That's mean to say. Monica decides to start jotting your thoughts on a sheet of paper. Express yourself. Be who you want to be. Sounds like lyrics to a Lady Gaga song. Make new friends. <laughs> uh, discover a new you. Discover your heart. No. Write your heart out. Well, I, as a writer, I mean, technically, I mean, you'd have to. No, write into your heart. Write the way into your heart. Join their literature club. Write the way into your heart. Hmm, that's like the song. Wow, that's lame. No, it's your song. And I like that song. Monica! Uh, you startled me. Sorry, but it's something important. On the way to my classroom, there was this girl reading a book. Reading a book? That's her and recruiter. Wait, are you sure she's not just doing homework? I could tell she was really into it. Uh, well, I guess we could take a look. Monica grabs one of the flyers and stands up from her desk. Then the two depart the classroom with Siri leading the way. This way. You don't have to run. Siri leads Monica over to a particular classroom, then lowers her voice to a little whisper. See? In here. Monica peers through the window. Sure enough, there's a girl sitting alone, intently reading a book. I feel like a creep doing this. <laughs> like a creep. You should go inside and talk to her. Me? You're the president, and I'd probably scare her away. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Well, I could take his deep breath and typically enters the classroom. That was fast. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Why? What happened? Um, well, I entered the classroom and she didn't even look up from her books. So I kind of just left the flyer on the desk and then walked out. <laughs> That's kind of cute. But I'm sure she'll see it and want to join the club. I hope so. Pretty sure that's Yuri. Shall we head back now? The two head back to the club room. Siren feeling rather accomplished, and Monica still feeling embarrassed by the encounter. Upon returning, Monica and Sierra resume their strategy meeting. They discuss various different kinds of recruitment tactics from professional to silly. After going through Siori's list of Monica coming up with ideas of her own, the two end in a better spot from where they began. Well, I'd like to say today was pretty productive, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we're starting to make progress. I can't wait to get some new members. Hey, what's this? So he appears at the sheet of paper Monica was jotting on earlier. Oh, don't mind that. I was just thinking to myself. Join the literature club. Write the way into your heart. That's so cute. I mean, it is a cool phrase. I will say that. <laughs> I thought it was a little overdramatic. But, sorry pauses and things for a moment. You know, I don't think you give yourself enough credit. What? What do you mean? Like. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like. I can tell from talking to you today. It seems like you're always afraid of doing something wrong. Yeah, but would you call yourself a perfectionist? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely am. I mean, I always have an idea in my head of how I want things to go, and it's like I can't accept things less than that. But I think in the end it just helps me try my hardest at everything, so I don't think it's that bad. Like, with this club, we have such an attorney to make it exactly known how we envision it. But it feels like we only have one shot at it. So I'm just being really afraid of deviating from that the vision. What's the vision? It's... Monica pauses to think, then shakes her head to herself. She sighs. I don't know. I just want everyone to... Monica trails off. Smiling, Siri taps her finger against the sheet of paper. Write the way into your heart. I think what you're trying to do is to make the club that you need the most out of everyone. Well, you're the one who knows yourself best, of course. But I'm here to help you. Monica returns to Yuri's smile. See? She lent you a smile. And now you have to return it to her. That's how it works, Monica. That's how it works, Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh. 
Charlie Brown, Mon Monica Brown. What if Monica's last name was Brown? Well, that would get a whole different uh, meta commentary, huh? huh? Uh, okay, I'll see myself. Where's the door? It's over here? Okay, I'll see myself out there. <laughs> it's sort of amazing how kind you are. I'm really going to make this the best club ever. Sorry, Nas and two remain silent for a moment, lost in thought. The only sound is a steady whisper of the air conditioner. Where is that? Is it on the roof? They only move in the afternoon sun. I trick them in and out of the moving clouds. Sorry breaks the moment with a big yawn. Time to go home? You tell me. You're the president. <laughs> in that case, today's meeting is officially over. I look forward to meet to tomorrow. Me too. Sorry beams and grabs your things. You can go on ahead. I need a few minutes still. Oh, I can wait. That's alright. I just want some alone time. Hmm. In that case, sorry waves enthusiastically at Monica. Good luck. Monica smiles and waves in return as Sarai spins her way out of the club room through that door, presumably. All alone, she decides herself to take a minute to zone out. She wasn't prepared for the self-reflection encouraged by Sayori, but she decides it was something she probably needed about right now. The club that I need the most? I don't get it. I just wanted to start a club with more passion. Something that I could use to lead people to happiness. Literature is the key to that, but there is no happiness, Monica, according to the last game. But this is before you were self-aware. This is the window to the real person inside of us, underneath the person who's forced to always smile and blend in. The person who's forced to be perfect. Now, here's the thing for anyone watching this, if anyone chooses to, who's really trying to put the perfection on it? You could say parents sometimes put things on the child to be perfect, or it's our own, or, you know, friends or anything, or it could be our own selves trying to make ourselves perfect because of some standard we're supposed to be, because Monica is, you know, beautiful, athletic, smart, blah, blah, blah. So she has to be, quote, unquote, perfect. So where happens when you're shown that you're not so perfect, when you're not so smart, when you can't always do all the physical stuff that they you're expected to do and everything? That's where it uh, the self-reflection thing comes in. And it's okay to not, you know, to really know that you're not going to get it and not be perfect. The sooner you realize you're not going to be perfect at everything, the sooner you can be free from that, you know, mental capacity and allow yourself to live a little and breathe. Hmm? Monica only knows the photo on the floor by her desk. Did Sari leave this behind? Hope it doesn't have her homework in it. Worried, Monica opens the photo to check. Poems. It's a photo of poems. But become the flower. A feeling of joy is a flower plucked from the ground. The color, the scent, it's so pretty in my hair. Every day I pluck some flowers as though they grew just for me. A lifetime of peace and nourishment yanked away in an instant. All for me, all for joy. I need more. I need more joy. I need more happy. Yes, I do. Pluck, pluck, pluck every day. Pluck, pluck, pluck so pretty in my hair. Pluck, pluck, pluck. You're going to die and you too. You're going to die and you too. Beneath my feet, a flower stands alone and beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moments between my fingers. But to what ends? I look in every direction. In the field I stand in. Prosperous field as a barren wasteland. The fruits of my labor, the carnage of my joy. And that is why I've decided I must become the flower. In other words, nothing you do, you're spending everyone else's joy and taking all from yourself. And you're willing to just, you think you're killing everyone, taking their joy, and so you gotta kill yourself too? Don't kill yourself. Sorry. What the? Wait, Siori? I agree, Monica. Siori, what? Oh, then that was part one. Well, okay, let's see. Oh, I got the new updated Monica and the new updated Siori. It says wallpaper. Actually, I do like this picture. I go back. Um, I got poems. Take my hand, become the flower. Hmm. What's this? Club room, classroom, classroom. Softly lit by the morning sun. So that's the same one, just with a different, different thing. Okay. Interesting. The music. Dear Sunshine. Hmm. 
Data collected 13. Well, that's good. That didn't destroy everything, did it? Okay, good. All right, well, that'll do for this episode. Join me next time as I come back for the second one. Whew. Man. This game's going to wreck me all over again, isn't it? <laughs>